Okay, hello viewers, welcome to Max TV. You are tuning to Max TV, you are watching Up Close. And you already know, right? Only on Max TV, sports, entertainment, and more. My name is Marshall. Follow me on all social media or Hannibal Marshall. Follow Max TV on all social media at Max TV GH. Send your messages and we will read it right here for your favorite celebrity. And today, I have the young legend in the building. Hmm. <sighs> An old student of Laboni Secondary School, <laughs> a multiple award winner, and you know, right? If I say this, you should know he's a legend in the studio. And we're going to talk about his trending stories. We're going to talk about his top five music videos. We're going to talk about a whole lot of projects he's working on, tr things that's been happening. He's an old school journal as well. And trust me, man, you should know the conversation is going to be more interesting. All right, so you see dope, fly, sexy I look. All you have to do is pick up a phone and call 0244-020-700. Talk to Don Elijah, and then he will hold you down. And you already know, right? This is Max TV, up close, yeah. Stay tuned. When I come back, me and my guests will chit chat. Okay, so yeah, as I said, I have the young legend in the building. If you're just tuning in, you're watching up close only on max tv sports entertainment and more yeah my name is marshall follow me on all social media or hinneba marshall as i said uh, i have a young legend in the building i'm so excited because he's my friend he's, he's a brother he's like a brother from another mother yo mr tick tack brat tick brat tick whatever <laughs> Why be it a what ever, ever? Forgetting no moon in the ever, ever. True definition of love. Me be a swag, catch and pull to me, my pressure. Your name, now nah, yes, it be tick. Yeah. And it don't be tick tack again. Yeah. But tick tack made you who you are. Why you want to rebrand the name to tick? Yeah, like, bro, it's not like a rebrand. I always tell people, this is just me, you know, like, people call me tick. Mm. Without them knowing, they're calling me take. I mean, everybody from day one, they like take. You know, so I thought, let me make it official. You okay, know? okay, take. A lot of people know you, like the young guys know you mm. as take, and uh, your new song with Kwame Eugene. Mm. That's what the current generation mm. knows you. But the old guys, like some of the guys I know. They know you as uh, people like you. <laughs> <laughs> people they like know you, right? you as yo one of the serious guys who has paid his dues in this right. industry. Trust me, me. I know you. I have seen you done stuff. I have seen you, you know, create some stuff for the industry. But it's very difficult for the young guys to, you know, recognize the effort you're putting into it. Tick tack, now tick. How did it all start for you? Well, for me, it started like at age nine, you know, and it all started in Dan Suman. Okay. You know, and um, I, I, I felt I could sing, I could perform, so I joined uh, a group called the Fish Band. Okay. And I told my dad one day that uh, I wanted to perform with the Fish Band. And you know, the Fish Band was just adjusting to my house. Oh, and so they will play music. They will disturb the whole house, mm. and I'll be feeling it before I sleep. I'll be dancing. Sometimes my dad is asleep and I'm dancing, you know. And one day I told my daddy, "Yo, dad, tell the fish band I want to sing with them." You know? <laughs> and he was like, "Okay, I'll tell them. I'll speak to them." But yeah, can you really... what your daddy wanted you to do that? Yeah, he said okay, and I said, can... and he was like, "Can you really do it?" I said, "Yeah, let me, let me. I want to do it." So my dad was like, okay, if you... At age nine? Yeah. If you want to try, then I'm going to speak to the leader. And the oh. leader is Ras Malenzi. Oh. Was Ras Malenzi. Okay. So, I, I mean, he spoke to Ras Malenzi and the owner mm. of the fish band, of course, because it was just by my house, mm. they were like friends to my dad. Yeah. And so they had a conversation and they said, okay, one day just bring him over. When, when I started the fish band, mm. when they gave me some songs to learn, yeah. some of the songs I learned at that age and was spitting uh, uh, in the microphone 
any time I was called upon to do that was Chakademo St. Plies. But where did you go to school? I mean, what Datus was Complex School. Oh, you were in Datus yes. Complex School. Yes, and then I went to Laboni Secondary School. Laboni. So, after Laboni, did you, that's where you realized you wanted to do music? After, after, after Datus. After Datus, right. that's where you realized you wanted to take music to the next level. Yeah, I mean, I always knew I wanted to do music. Okay. Ever since I touched the microphone, mm. I knew I wanted to do music. So, when you realized you wanted to take music to the next level, what did your dad say? Family, yeah, um, brothers, sisters? My dad is a music lover. Okay. You know, my mom also loves music. They, they knew, they knew that you know, I was destined to be a musician. I used to also sneak a lot to Fan World. Oh, okay. There used to be some hole somewhere, somewhere at Laboni. And then so we used to sneak and second break, boom. You know, because wow. that's the time that Fan World starts. Wow. And I'll go. So that's what I used to do mm. until I finally completed Laboni Secondary School. Okay. And then my dad was like, okay, what do you guys want to do? So I was like, okay, I want to go to the university, mm -hmm. but I want to do music because I want to do music for a while and then go to the university. Okay. And then my, my brother, Junior, okay. was, he was with me at Laboni. He oh, was your, like, okay. your brother, your blood brother. Right. He was like, okay, I want to go to um, the university straight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so then everybody chose their path, you know? Uh, but aside Junior, do you have other brothers? Or yeah, I have, I have Chico. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I have Nana Mejewa. Okay. Uh, Monte Carlo. Nana Monte, Monte Carlo. Carlo. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, Nana Monte Carlo. Yeah. Mm. So, when you realized that you wanted to do music after school, instead of going to the university, who gave you your first breakthrough? My breakthrough was when um, DJ Aziza Jr. Yeah, was DJ, then DJ. the hardest DJ in Africa. Yeah. And yeah. everybody recognized him as the biggest DJ from yeah. Africa. Yeah, I know. He set up a rap competition mm -hmm. and he said, the winner was going to be featured okay. on my music, my new music. Oh. So there was party riders, there was talking drums, no. there, there were a whole host <laughs> oh, of... Guys. Yeah, there, there, there were all the gangs, you know, and they, they all did their thing. I was like, uh, okay, I need to take my shot. Yeah. So they gave me the microphone and you know how, I think it was Nas beat, you know this beat? That beat was bad. If at that time you were a rapper, you never spat on that beat, then don't consider yourself being a rapper. So as soon as they drop that beat, then you bust on it. Oh, master, because I, that beat was like my favorite. Yeah. And I started, I see the moon and the moon sees me. Ha. God bless the moon and God bless me. Ha. Then I started giving it to the guy. <laughs> there was one guy, so I started, you know, giving yeah. it to him, dressing him up and all that. And the fans were like, yeah. crazy, you know? Wow. And then that was it. I think that, that was, was like, you know what? This is not a street. contest. This is, this this is not a contest. Charlie Gana <laughs> Basta Rhyme, you know? I used to rehearse a lot with, um, Zagidi Bogidi. Yeah, Zagidi so, Bogidi, yeah. that guy. Yeah, so one day, uh, I think I had gone to Zagidi to rehearse with him and he wasn't there. Mm. So I was waiting for him and then he turned up and he said, Hey, take. I think that I was a bear recording, mm. you know, beating in the Hey, I remember it was two, two o'clock. Yeah. I was supposed to be there at two. So I left classes at 1.30. After wow. the first break, and it was North Canadian, I looked for the house. Mm -hmm. And I got there and I realized that I was child. Someone was like, wow. They gave me the beat. Mm -hmm. and it, was, it, it, it wasn't a beat I was expecting. Yeah. But I mean, once I heard the beat, I said to myself, you know what? This is my destiny. Yeah, you I need to, to nail this beat. Get rich or die trying. No matter what. Straight. So, <laughs> I went straight attacking the beat mm. and I started it. That's a surprise you want, y'all. We're yeah. heading up now. Yeah. Tick tac ziggy. We're heading up now, man. That's it. Charlie, that's it. It, it went straight. When, yo, when the song came out, it was like, who's that boy? Who's that boy? That's that tick. That tick tac boy, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Laboni boy. That Laboni boy. Then you, everywhere. everywhere. Your first single, Philomena. What really inspired it? 
because at the time Nana Kwame was out with the uh, some love song, um, uh, Obrafo was out with his you know back to back hits, and then you were also coming out as a new artist. What really inspired your Philomena? And then how did you get Obrafo and Nana Kwame? And then how did you get uh, Ohene John to shoot the video? At that time, I was messing with Abraham already. Okay. With my group, Nazi Strangers. Nazi, okay, yeah. And Abraham had promised me that the real school, mm. he was going to record me. Oh, okay. After uh, Aziz Gizar's We Yeah. I was messing with Slimbasta. Okay. You know, because I had gone to Slimbasta studio to record a song with the Nazi Strangers crew. Oh, okay. And Slimbasta also saw that spotlight in me. Mm. So he was doing a song and he also said, can I lay in a verse? Oh. <laughs> you know, and that was one of the biggest songs ever in Ghana at that time. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that thing was a big hit. Before Philomena? Yeah. Really? So that cemented my existence. So you see, even before Nana Kwame and Obrafo yeah, had you already been in the system. I was in the system. I was, I was major. Just that na me anga sami ni me awo. Okay. But na me a star. A star. Okay. To say salva. What? To say star. Star lover. Yeah. Just about me releasing mm. Obrafo King. Okay. With the finished product, mm. and it had style lover, and style lover had already also tasted some sort of fame. fame. Yeah. So when they dropped the first song, mm -hmm. everybody thought it was for style lover. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. The agro so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody, because style lover had a lead in it, and he was the one that people knew, right? Yeah. So everybody thought. It was for Salah mm. until he dropped Kwame and Chroma. Kwame, yeah, and everybody realized that. That he yeah. was three. Yeah, with the first video from Sideface. So that is how it started. Okay. For Bra 4. And that is how I was, I became a record label, label mate. mate. Okay. And then you know? he featured on your song. Right. And then when I was working on the song, Abraham proposed to me, why don't I feature or Bravo. Bravo, yeah. And at the same time, Nana Kwame had seen the work that was coming out of Cyphers. Mm. So he was flexing with us. Yeah. He would come there. <laughs> Want to and, taste the film. Oh, so. Travideo Mami and mm. all of that. And then Abraham was like, okay, if I'm going to do that and all of that, I'll also go an artist. Yeah. And to I, be you had to be on the song. Yeah. So then Abraham, anybody who comes to Cyphers to shoot a video, Abraham takes that opportunity to propose them doing a collaboration with me. Wow. So that's how come I had that Sibre Jamina. Yeah, you had, had all the General big Marcus. Boys, yeah. So I had a very good start. And wow. so Philomena mm -hmm. was a multi talented. Yeah, you, you know, could see that. Your first ever video, your first video, your own video. Yeah, my right? first solo, solo official video. Exactly. How was the feeling like for you? I mean, awesome. And you featuring all these big boys at the time as well. Awesome. See, at that time, I didn't see them as big boys. So they were all at that time, I saw myself mates. as the biggest. <laughs> you know, and I was, I saw myself rather uh, giving them the opportunity to shine. Okay. You know, because I had already done my work. I had, I was hot even without an album. Wow. But one of the hottest guys, one of the hottest of us all, mm. And I met met him. Oh, there be no one. What's his do? X D do. X do. As do. Apart from all of us, he was on another planet. Wow. With all his controversy, with Chicago, with all those and things. So, as do was at that time one of the guys who. I could compare myself to in terms of how yeah, big yeah, you could. it was. When you started those things, most of the new generation now didn't know much about it. Right. right. Especially Philomena and all those things. So I want to play Philomena for the guys out there to know the journey, to know how far you have come. If they've seen Kwani Kwani today, you know they mean see 
you just come as a no, new artist. You've like been the way there. Sometimes they call me that. Tick, tick. I see I'm a new <laughs> artist. But I am a new artist. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, Tic Tac, man, he's just telling us a story, man. There's more to come. You know, if you've not watched this video, this is his first ever solo song and solo video. Philomena featuring Obra 4 and Nana Kwan. We'll be right back. Okay, so welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Up Close, all your Max TV, sports entertainment, and more. And I'm here with the young legend, Mr. Tick Tack. Hey, Mr. Tick, right? After your first single, Philomena, you became one of the biggest artists in the system. And then I realized you started doing international features. Mm. You know, yeah. Uh, this thing always buffles my mind. VIP came with, um, uh, what is his name? Two Face. At the time, Two Face was also biggest in Nigeria. And then you came with the uh, Tony Tetwila, right? Uh, this is how it uh -huh. it, this is how Tell the whole, me the story because this I is how the whole know. thing started. Um, Goodies Music Productions, 
was like a savior to me because I had a record label mm. and I had to record some songs for them and they were a foreign label. Okay. And when I recorded the songs, that was a shorties album. Okay. And I sent it to the UK. The A and R for some reason decided to sit on it and not okay. give it to the people. Whoa. And so they wanted to they wanted to get Interpol on my case. Hey. Yeah, because I had taken some money then. Oh. You know? And so when they decided to do that, I I told them I had sent the song and this they, they also saw the receipts and realized that I've sent the song, but you know, it, it didn't get to them. And they've waited for too long and they don't really want to have anything to do with me again because mm. the a and R was a guy named and he had been polluted by some people okay. against me. And so that deal was not going to happen. Wow. So then I had to find some money to pay off, mm. you know, because they had already given me some money. Some money yeah. And we have used the money, some of the money to record some other of the songs things, yeah. and do some other stuff. You know how it works. Yeah. I was signed on to Buddhist music. Oh, and, and which them, year was that? 2003. Oh, 2003. And then I told them, okay, this is the situation. Mm -hmm. This album is going to go for X amount of money. Okay. And you guys have to send ABC to the to UK. And blah, 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 blah. And and then, they're like, yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. Money day. And then they did it. So then I became a Buddhist music artist. Mm. So my idea was to cut across because I had already started sniffing some African connection. Okay. So I wanted to bridge the gap finally. I wanted to Great. make it official. Official, like so, an international artist. So I spoke to the label and I told them, this is what I want to do. They said, mm -hmm. okay, if you can put it together, we'll try and market and it. it. Then I said, okay, so if we need to go to Nigeria and bridge the gap, mm. which I had already been to Nigeria okay. for my first show, second show. I think I had done like three, four shows, shows in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Mm. Um, so, But I wanted to really cement Mm, your my, ground in there. Right. And so the, the only person I could think about at that time was Tony Tatula. I had another show, you know, in in Lagos, Ikeja to be precise. Mm. And it was at Coliseum. So that was where Tony and I had the vibe. We sat down and had a chat. And I was doing this with that perception that, you know, we could do a song together and we could market it and Tony can own the right in Nigeria and I can own the right, the right in, Ghana, in Ghana, yeah. and we can both own it mm. and push it from it's different nice angles. Yeah, from... And then I had another show Whoa, in Nigeria. In Nigeria, So I went. Mm. And then when I got there, I called Tony up. He was on the show too. Okay. So after the show, I called him up and I said, look, what we spoke about, I got the beat. Mm. I, got the, I got the composition and I got everything. So I, 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 I explained it to him and he was like, let's go and do it. Mm. Tony paid for half of the production in Nigeria. Oh, really? And I paid for half. Half of the production as well. And then we went <laughs> to the studio and boom, boom. I had FNF. And then when I brought it to Ghana, I took it to the label and I said, this is the song you, you need. Mm. The label said, okay. That was good as good music. music. Okay. We are interested in this, and so let's take it to the next level. Mm. And at that time, I was the only one that had shot a music video with a helicopter. The oh. whole of Africa, when you talk about new age music. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the fifth and the fifth video. Shorties. Oh, shorties, right, so okay. So that alone, in Nigeria, it was a big thing already. Do you understand? Like, that's how it started. Okay. That's how the Nigerian thing started. The, 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 and then... The, the, the way. You see, the fifth and the fifth mm. is a beautiful song. Mm. And most people, especially, yeah. So let's, let's, let's listen to... Let's watch some small portion of it, like some, you know, 30 seconds. Yeah, sure, or, sure, yeah, sure. you know. So people will know. Say, brat, take no sim, nene. That's your seal. Okay, guys. So let's go take a look at the fifth and the fifth. Few seconds of it campaign that we launched mm. and had press people come and say take goals international wow so what would you say um to the current generation right now well because i've seen you a uh, few connections with some of the new artists you've done collaborations with kiddy kwame eugene uh i've seen the one with you and zeal you right. did one with uh kevin Boy. Boy, Goro. you know i don't know i mean what would you say about the current generation? Because 26 years ago, it was not like this. No, never. Yes. Things has changed, really. And changed. it looks like 
this current generation is about making more money than back in the day. I always don't want to say that. What I always want to shy away from is try to say that, oh, this generation is making more money than that generation. Yeah. Remember that no matter what happens, every generation and what comes with it. Mm. You know, like the music you do back then is not the music people will do now. That's true. And what we started was something new. Mm. You know, that yeah. we were trying to break the ice. Exactly. And you did. So yes, of course, now people are embracing it. Now is the is the is the main thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's the main thing. So yes, people will embrace it now, people will make more money now. Mm. But what we had at that time mm. was equally good. Yeah. But just that, at that time, because we were beginning mm. and people were spending money mm. on what we were doing and they didn't understand what we were doing, but they wanted to spend money to support us, to make it happen. Yeah. And sometimes some of the money they put in, they don't get it back. Sure. We were not making that money, that much money, because what they put in, they take so much. Mm. My first record deal, I was having the 30%. And the yeah. label had the seventy percent. You understand? Yeah. So how can I be making that money if mm. I had to use that same money to take care of myself? Yeah. But what would you say about the current generation? So I, mean, I would just say that they 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 the current generation is something that is good mm. and the spotlight is already here. Yeah. And so you you know, and reaching out to the audience, it's a bit easier now. Yeah. Even though there are too many TV stations and social media yeah. is everywhere. Yeah. But it also gives you the opportunity mm. to be able to uh, get to, you know, the, the, the consumers easily. Yeah. Wow. Unlike before, there were there weren't that many channels. Yeah, it's true. So you, you, what are you gonna take advantage of? Nothing. Because <laughs> If you're not able to break the ice mm -hmm. and get to that level yeah. that you, you can be you can have the opportunity for people to see you, then you are gonna have a lot of problems. Yeah. But now you can stay in your home and just put out your music and somebody might see you and say, Yo, I like it. Yeah. And then it goes like they call something trending, right? Yeah. And you trend Fast. and then you're everywhere. So the opportunity that social media and a lot of media have created is giving you a lot of work to do, but then giving you more um, more value if you put in more work. Yeah, sure. there, there were rumors that you wanted to sue Whiskey. How true is that? Oh, we have sued Whiskey. Oh, you um, have? Yes, um, it's myself and uh, Tony Tatrila uh, for oh. using uh, Fefe Nefe Fe uh -huh. in his line without appropriate, uh, you know. Well, he didn't uh, talk to you guys? No, no, no. So without appropriate uh, uh, permission. So yes, so we are, we're, we're, we're gonna go to court and um, when you hear about it. <laughs> but we, it's, 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 let's say it's court issue now, so okay. we can't talk too much about it. But yes, I can confirm that we have sued Whiskey okay. and uh, DJ Tunes and we'll see how it unfolds. Wow. Are you in good terms mm. with Shatawali? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, is he your friend? No, he's not my friend. Oh, he's he's not, not my friend. friend. He's right. not my friend. He used to be my guy. Like, okay. we we'll, we'll link up and we'll say hi, hi, and we'll vibe. Mm -hmm. we we been to the studio before, attempted to do music, mm -hmm. before he really blew up. And But I don't, after a while, he was picking on me. I don't know, but uh, yeah. so that really, uh, Made our relationship yeah, some, a bit, some you know, way. Mm. Uh, some way, <laughs> and he's picked on me a few times, and so I don't like that, you mm. know. Just that I'm the type that I don't really like that, you know. So, so, but I, but he's not the type that I hate yeah, yeah, for, yeah. you know. I think he's just another brother trying to okay. survive, but just that sometimes he makes some utterances yeah, that then... I feel try to depreciate mm. or undermine what I've been able to do or what I want to do, yeah. and. I don't, I don't like it yeah, when it happens true, like true. that. I, I heard you had issues with the um, uh, Melcom. You sued them, yeah, some money came, yeah. and you promised you're going to give me my share. <laughs> and uh, see, see, to see, date, see. I don't get anything. I've never had issues with Melcom. You know, but what happened? You sued uh, them, right? And yeah, I sued them because they them. used my image without letting you know. Right. After my contract was over, years ahead, oh. they used my image. You know, I've won my case. 
so it's still in court because um, they have gone to appeal. Yeah. So Tig, I mean you've been telling me a whole lot of story mm. about your movement, your music. Mm. Aside music, do you do any other business? Yes, I, I, I have um, TNR Music, which is the record label. Okay. And the record label does branding, you know, it does events, PR, okay, and artist management, you okay. know, and it does marketing as well. Mm. Um, another thing that I do is um, I also do food business. Food business, right? <laughs> From here, there, if you take me, go. Yeah, I've always invited you, but you don't turn up. Oh, nah. I mean, you, you forgive me location, Charlie. Oh, but you know that we have one just by your nose, <laughs> you know, and, and just. Just um, Dan Soman here, yeah. Asori Down, Opposite okay. Society General. We have Gen X Pizza there. I think I make the best pizza in this country. Yeah. Yes, and you should try our pizza. All right, so are you working on current projects, like in sure, terms of your sure, music? Sure. Okay. Um, currently, I have an EP out and it's named after my beautiful mother, Mama Grace. Mama Grace. This EP is awesome. I wow. mean, this it is an EP that. When I listen to the EP, I know that, yeah, I'm a mature musician. You know, mm. like, I, I hear the EP and I'm like, this is dope. Personally, at the say this EP be dope, dope. You know, unless you're not listening to it, but if you're vibing to it, you know, that's dope. Um, it features um, one friend of mine musically, mm. who has been my friend for over 25 20. years. <laughs> and, it's in the person of Zeal of VVIP fame. Whoa. And we worked on a song called Worry. Worry. Right. God Worry. Damn. So on that same EP, mm. which is the Mama Grace EP, mm. I have a song with a female artist, which I don't normally do. Mm. And it's in the person of uh, Adina. Uh, seven songs mm. on the EP and uh, such an amazing collection. Man. All right. So let's go for a commercial break. When we come back, you know, his top five music videos. We'll be right back. Okay, so if you just tune in, you're watching Up Close, all your Max TV, Sports Entertainment, and more. And I'm here with the young legend, Mr. Tick. And he's telling me more about his story. Yo, Tick, you said it all. Right. I mean, your story is great. I mean, looking at the things you've done from back in the days till now, Charlie, guy, we see much of Hey, we see much of all right, so... Two decades and over. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, we have a game here, but before we go into the game, I want you to, you know, go into your top five music videos with me. So, starting from number five. N number five will be Dogo Yaru mm -hmm. from VVIP. I love that video. Yeah. I think a lot of work went into that video. Yeah. All right, guys, so let's take a look at Dogo Yaru, VIP, VVIP. Atmosphere to other says it cost me wish you happy new year. She say I belong go, do go yaro, do go yaro, thick and tall. Do go yaro, do go yaro. She dey like and strong go, do go yaro, do go yaro. When the rise never fall. Do go yaro, do go yaro. She's the word on the street. Say amiga, the thing she a pray for the longest time. She want another one, bang bang, 'cause she can't get enough. 
That was Dogoyaro, VVIP, big up to Zeal Prodigal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's yeah, go to. I love that video. Yeah. And your number, number four, four mm. will be forever. Yeah. You know, uh, myself featuring Samuel G. Samuel G. Right. Wow. Wow. Yeah, right. That's a new artist you're signing? Yeah. Samuel G is my producer. Oh, he's your producer? Right. Wow. I mean, it's, like I said, he's a producer and a singer. So. And, uh, okay. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at it. We'll be right back. A tip. Baba God wanna change my level Make I go hide and shame all the devils It don't tell when we pay for the circle So tonight make my voice touch heaven Yeah, yeah who do one for me 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 Yeah, yeah do one for me Yeah, yeah who do one for me Yeah yeah, who do one for me? Yeah, yeah, who do one for me? Oh, oh, oh. As you see me today, it be the blessings we make at this day. We did the game, no be today. Young coupon, he they make at the go higher. You see me today, it be the blessings we make at this day. We did the game, no be today. Young coupon, he they make at the go higher. On any cassantity, say who pay foot you are you for me? Yes, it take my candy, yeah. And if I talk the truth, then they throw fire. See, I don't go retire. If you hate, you go hate tire. If you hate, you go hate tire. Chip, hey, yeah, who I do one for me, yeah. Yeah, who I do one for me, yeah. Yeah, who I do one for me, yeah. Yeah, who I do one for me, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, who I do one for me, yeah. Yeah, who I do one for me, yeah. Yeah, who I do one for me, yeah. Okay, so that was a beautiful video. Yeah, Uncle Tick. Yo, hey, video selection. Yo, video. <laughs> yo, Your video. Tick, Your video. Yeah, so uh, let's go. Number my, three. My third video will be, uh, you know, Walk Up. We, we, walk Up. Yeah, that big goon, big goon. Right, my artist. Yo, your artist. Yeah. I know your record label, right? You know, music, baby. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. So, Big Goon, featuring Tic Tac. Hey. Fitching Bratic, A. Fitching Tick, Walk Off. Okay, so Big Goon, yeah, that is Fitching Bratic out there. I mean, Bratic. So you're number two. Wow, already? Yeah, yeah. straight, man. Give me six videos, man. Yeah. <laughs> so my number two video yeah. will be uh, Sexy Polo. Sexy Polo. Yeah. That's, it, that's, your, that's your song, right? No, that's. A Kya Pin Polo song. Oh, a Kya Pin Polo. <laughs> yes, man. Wow. Yeah, now you know, I signed a Kya Pin Polo on my TNR music label as well. Oh. So the, 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 the number wow. two video will go wow. to wow. Kya Pin Polo. <laughs> this video got so much energy. I swear. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. A Kya Pin Polo. We'll be right back. Cause the love I get for you will no be pampana Make I be your antenna Sick of you, I stop the drama maxima We go jet from New York to Bantama Sexy, 
meji meji mi sika <laughs> Oye wayo mi, wana seka Rulers of the Omini, Siri Sefa Uwa me chana me fili sefa Wow, ekuya pimpo lu Guy, featuring myself, you know Yo, so, you yeah. doing a good job, man <laughs> That's what's up That's what's up Alright, so And the number one video, of course Yeah Is Goro, the Goro. banger Wow, you know, featuring what's the story Kelvin behind Goro? Yeah, Goro is a perfect exchange, you know Okay. So if you give me maybe your phone, maybe I have to give you something more better than your phone. Yeah. So, I mean, you can't give me your phone, I give you a paper. <laughs> yeah, so if you give me your guru, I will give you my, you understand? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, got you. yeah, yeah I got you. I got you, I got you. All right, guys. So, guru. Okay, so that was guru. Take featuring Kevin Boy. Nice song, man. Nice video. Charlie, you refuse to grow. You refuse to leave the Chale. industry. It looks what? like, Charlie, you're coming back to back. Because Kwani Kwani, you and Kiddy, you and Zil, you Whatever. and... Uh, uh, yo! Charlie. You do, man. You do, you do, you do. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can hear the whisper. <laughs> you're being really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I see we have a... A small ball in here is a question and answer. You just pick it up, you read it, and then you answer it. It's just nothing, actually. You just, mm -hmm. yeah. Or oh, what is the dumbest way you've been injured? Yes. Recently, I hurt my leg, really? and um, I, I, I had just come out of my car in front of my restaurant in Dansoman. Mm. I saw it down. Mm. You know, Gen X Pizza. Yeah. And you know this covet uh -huh. that they have this metal, metal covet. Yeah, yeah. And my my leg just slipped into one. Wow. And I didn't even know that it was it was something my leg could fit, fit in. in there. But it went in. It went in there and for forty five <laughs> minutes. Forty five minutes. There was minutes. no help. <laughs> my leg was swollen. Like and my I had to I was injured for close to like two months. Wow. You know, and it was, I thought it's one of the dumbest way that I could think <laughs> All right, so number. What is our latest telenovela on Max TV? Yes. That's supposed to be Asintado, right? Asinta, yeah, yeah. Tell you're a Max TV fan, right, man. Right, right. You do, a guy, you do. Asintado. All right, so let's go. What, what's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Yeah. Well, when one girl came to me, you know, walked up to me, it was a show, and I was rushing to the stage, and, you know, the, 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 the fan slipped through some way, some way, somewhere, and, and then she walked up to me and just, you know, ripped, uh, you what? know, her top. And yeah? She just pulled her boobs out and was what? like... I need an autograph. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. And, I, and I said, be my guest. Be my guest. <laughs> and I humbly gave her autograph <laughs> on her boobs. Yo, you might be at the roof. <laughs> okay. What are some of the things that sound like compliments but are actually insults? You did it, game inside Chao. Hey, what's up? You Come dog. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, that's like, in right. Ghana, when they say that. Yeah, forget. A friend is killing okay. me softly. <laughs> what's the weirdest question you've been asked? Yes. The weirdest question I've been asked. Who say we're fading? You know? Who say we're say we're fading? Yeah. Yeah. And you expect me to say yes. <laughs> you are a fool. <laughs> Yo, Brad, take. Yo, take. Yo, man, Tyler, it's been nice having you on the show, man. Mm. Yo, I like your vibe, man. Your story back in the days till now, Charlie. Truly, truly, you be young legend. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you yeah, paid man. your juice, man. Okay, guys. Oh, uh, man, it's been an awesome show. Brad taking the building, he said it all. If you don't know, now you know. 
Yes, thank you for watching. You see, fly, man. If you want to look good like I'm doing, all you have to do is just pick up your phone, call 0244-020-700, talk to Don Elijah, and then he will hold you down. Charlie, you know how we do it, right? Up close. Same time, same place. Pow. Thank <laughs> you.